Primo is an American autonomous vehicle driving technology development company. It is a subsidiary of Alphabet Inc., the parent company of Google. Waymo operates a commercial self-driving taxi service in the greater Phoenix, Arizona area called Waymo One. In October of 2020, the company expanded the service to public and it is the only self-driving commercial service that operates without safety backup drivers in the vehicle. The Alphabet-owned company has approximately 600 vehicles as part of its fleet. More than 300 vehicles operate in approximately 100 square miles service area that includes the towns of Chandler, Gilbert, Mesa, and Tempe. Though its fully driverless cars are restricted to an area that is only half the size. One of Waymo's fully autonomous minivans got stuck at an intersection in Chandler, Arizona because the roadside orange cones were in the middle of its riding path, which prompted the company to send a roadside assistant team to come to extract it. But when the crew arrived, the vehicle started to drive away before pulling over and completely blocking the three-lane road. It was a rare moment captured on a video of one of the Waymo's driverless vehicles performing a weird ride. Meanwhile, a flatbed truck drives past collecting all of the orange cones that originally confused the Waymo car. And right when the roadside assistant crew arrives, the vehicle suddenly decides to drive away from there. But then more orange cone appears and Waymo vehicle slows down and stops again. The roadside crew eventually shows up and car tries to run away again. But eventually it stops and everything gets ugged out. The whole video is worth the watch. You can find the link in the description also. The incident was recorded from the inside the vehicle by Joel Johnson, who publishes videos on YouTube under the handle JJ Rex Studios. Waymo has a team of remote employees that watch the real-time feeds of each vehicle, 8 cameras and can help with the push of a button if the software runs into a difficult spot and needs a human eye to figure out what's going on. In late 2018, the company launched a limited public ride-hailing service called Waymo One. But only the customers to get access were people who had first been vetted through Waymo's early driving program of beta tester. Waymo said it has around 1,500 monthly active users from both the programs. The same number is reported in December of 2019. So what do you think? Will you ride in an autonomous car in the future?